Hey guys, Waldo Man here. Uh, I wanted to talk about the new system that they put in place for <coughs> constellations. Um, you know, once you complete a board and once you complete the constellation, <coughs> you go to this here and use these to unlock here. <coughs> and then there's all kinds of you know these are the percentages for what goes up and, and whatnot <clears throat> to change these here you need these um, <clears throat> my original thinking of this was for these okay the Kraos crystals it worked like anvils and hammers where you change the stat with this and then you upgraded it with this I was definitely mistaken. <clears throat> you use these just to unlock them, and then you use these to change the random stats. The downside for me is once you unlock them, I didn't realize that you can keep going with these. So instead of unlocking all three, I only unlocked one. Was not good. But you can't turn these off either like I had one that was two max stats and three horrible stats so I re-rolled it got a better general but I lost these max stats I think that's wrong I think they should once it's maxed out it should be like <clears throat> like everything else you locks in <clears throat> and then for these once you unlock it this should not be able to be used again because like that totally screwed me on on increasing my combat class big time that put me back a week because these only come out once a week I don't even know how many you get once a week because <clears throat> this is the first week we get them here for global um, I don't know how it works for JP but to get more of these here these chaos fragments you can get them here with with hourglasses this is a complete waste okay especially for people that are still building most people are still building you've got the few ultra whales that are not building I'm still building my characters so for me it's better for me to super awaken than it is for me <clears throat> to use them for the these because yes every character gets better with the stats that you roll but you still need points to unlock more of these so unless you're fully unlocked on all of your constellations which like for me I'm on five to fully unlock these you know <clears throat> to fully unlock these it's costing you a ton of points everybody has to be fully awakened level 100 maxed out characters for the most points to finish off these constellations before you can like <clears throat> unlock and like for this like I said don't do the same mistake I did I am assuming that you have to have all three unlocked before you can unlock the second constellation like mine see able after com able after you're completely unlocked on the other one so I'm stuck a week behind because of this so <clears throat> just for people that are are unlocking constellations just to let you know do not use this just use it to unlock back out unlock the next one back out unlock the next one back out because you can still use these on here which will totally screw you will set you back a week like a set me back <clears throat> so and like I said in my opinion using your hourglasses for this is a complete waste <clears throat> because you have to keep going with your constellations it would be I would do this if all of my characters were fully awakened but they're not so I 
for me, this is a complete waste to use here. For complete waste to use here, I would use it here, which is actually what I'm going to do. I'm going to do four runs <clears throat> while we talk about it. Because, like, at the point that I'm at, and I, I'm, I know I'm not as far as a lot of people, like, especially, like, the top players. <clears throat> These are 30 a piece. This one was 60. Some of them will be double. Like, this one was 60. And to keep going through, like, for me to get here, that's 780. <clears throat> you get one point for costumes. You get three points for Super Awakening. You get three points for... Uh, leveling uh breaking your your level limit after you evolve evolving does not count um and you get 10 points per relic and you get 20 and you get 20 points per character so i mean this to complete this board like constellation 5 takes a lot like if i was to go all the way down here that's not including that's just like all the small spots on the way. That's not these, which are 300 a pop. All the way down just to get to this one, it'd be 750. Or I'm sorry, 650. Just to get down to the last one, and that's not unlocking all these big, <clears throat> the big ones along the way. So it takes a lot of points. So if your if your characters are not super awakened, don't do this. <clears throat> don't use it your for, to change your stats. You'll get more eventually. What you want to do is you want to super awaken all of your characters first. Then, if your characters are all super awakened, then work on this. <clears throat> because if you don't, you're just going to get totally hosed over. So, so before you start doing this, my recommendation is to make sure that all of your characters are super awakened before you start on that. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll talk to you later.